Welcome to PowerCat Live. I am here with Paul Noguez and Antonio Rodriguez, both product managers on AI Builder. Hi, you guys. Hey. Hello. Hi. So tell us a little bit about how you got on the AI Builder team and your journey through Microsoft. Sure. So, so yes, I'm Paul, and I I worked on AI Builder since its very beginning, so like uh, two years and something ago. Uh, and I I own yeah different bits of this uh, of this uh, product, and uh, yeah, we work with Antonio in uh, in Paris. Paris, that's got to be a great place to work too. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and Antonio. Yeah, so I'm working in Paris as well, so working uh, closely also with Paul. And so I've been working at Microsoft for six years now um, and two years in AI Builder, so uh, making sure that we enhance the product. And, and the product is pretty amazing. I think there's elements of the product that are just short of magic. And you're going to talk about a couple of them today. Paul, let's start with you. So you're going to talk about the AI Builder Identity Document Reader. What is this? Yes, so that's a brand new capability of the product. We're leveraging some Azure AI capabilities to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really tailored to extract information from passports and uh, driver licenses. The quality is, is actually pretty good, so we are, we are thrilled by that. And it's very new, so it's currently uh, still in preview. Uh, and we are planning on releasing it more broadly in a month or so. Can you, can you show us what it does? Sure. So this is the, uh, the AI builder uh, vertical in, uh, in Power Automate. So this is the, yeah, the build page. And in it, we have like all the list of features that we are, we are working on. So the identity reader is right there. Um, so like I said, it works with uh, passports and American driver's license uh, for now. You have this uh, sweet little uh, tried out experience in which you can you can um, see how it looks like. So we extract. So this is a, this is specifically a, a passport, and we are able to extract a bunch of information from it. Are reading this uh, machine readable zone as we call it, mm. um, and. So yeah, it's fairly it's fairly straightforward. What it does and what it does well is to extract yeah this this uh, information with actually high quality. I can actually show you uh, that it's also able to extract pretty well from like images that are uh, not of super quality or like you know when you have a gloss on the image. Or for instance, this one is totally uh, upside down. So as you see, it should be able. So even if like yeah, everything is uh, is upside down, um, um, yeah, it's able to extract information. The quality is really good. Uh, we are very very pleased with uh, with that. And yeah, right now, so you can uh, use it obviously in a flow or in a in a power app. Uh, so if I go to my flow here. Um, so yeah, this is this is just um, this is just like a, a simple flow that leverages um, um, this pre-built experience. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can I can actually test it. So so this one will send me uh, an email uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the extracted information from from a document. Um, so if I choose I don't know that for instance, not sure mm -hmm. what it is, but it should work. <laughs> And I run the flow. So this is yeah the, the the mail that I just received from from AI Builder with the uh, yeah the extracted information. It's fast. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty fast. I mean, if you have like yeah small images, it's it, it tends to be it tends to be fast. So I heard you right. So this works on uh, all passports and American driver's license. Yes, that's right. correct. So yeah, yeah, and and so no big plans really to extend that to a bunch of new document types. In the future, like right now, we just want to, to get that in the ends of the customers and see how they react and you know, get feedback and, and improve from, from there. So that means somewhere in Paris, you have a cache of American driver's licenses that you're training this off of. Is this true? Uh, so it's actually our our Azure Azure friends, right? Like they are <laughs> okay. the, right. So everything everything is stored in the US. No no issues on yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about that. This is sensitive data. So how do you make sure it stays secure? 
Yeah, so so it's 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 obviously compliant with the um, the Azure privacy guidelines, okay. which are you know obviously very very strict. Like we don't keep any. So as I mentioned, like we for for passports, for instance, we are doing we are doing we are only reading the uh, machine readable zone, like the bunch of characters that you have at right. the bottom of the passport. So we don't we don't do you know facial recognition. We don't store anything. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as the uh, as soon as the processing is done, like the the uh, the, the picture is is erased. Um, so yeah, it's it's basically yeah compliance with the very. Compliant with the very, you know, strict uh, Azure policy that we have at Microsoft. So. Now, Antonio, you're going to talk about then how all of this, say all of AI Builder, not just what Paul showed, but all of it works within Teams. You yes. Yes, exactly. So, um, very two words about uh, about that. So, we want you to make AI Builder available in Teams. I'm going to show it to you right now. You are in the apps section of uh, Teams because the first thing you need to do is to install the Power Automate application. Uh, because we are going to use AI Builder through Power Automate. And so it's very easy to do. You just need to, to install it in two clicks. Uh, you add the application. As soon as the application is installed, then you can just access it with the left menu uh, here. And um, you have different entry points if you want to use AI Builder. Um, uh, mainly what you need to understand is that you are going to create a flow based on the template. And so it's very easy. You can either pick the most popular one in um, in the home page, and you will see uh, some of them um, around AI Builder here. But you can also uh, go into the create uh, page, and then also uh, look for all the AI Builder templates. So I can easily find them. And so right now we have five templates. Um, that delivers different um, capabilities to any users who want to use Ableder in Teams. Uh, we are going to pick up the most popular one, so this one, which mm -hmm. uh, analyzes the emails that you received and send the results into Teams along with the sentiment of the email using Ableder, of course. Nice. Um, so let's click on it. The first thing um, that appears to uh, any user is that um, AI Builder is, is built on Dataverse. So if you don't have Dataverse installed, then it offers you to install Dataverse in um, one click. That's all. You just need to understand what is Dataverse. You can even click um, into uh, to the link and then uh, learn about that. But you can click on Continue, and then it's going to install Dataverse for you. And there's no cost or licensing implication of installing Dataverse here, is that right? No, not at all. Uh, so the only thing is that it can take Usually it takes a couple of minutes, so between one and two minutes, depending on the, um, on some uh, backend parameters. But usually it's pretty it's pretty quick to install. So the installation is done, and then uh, the first thing you are going to see is the list of the connections. So um, Microsoft Dataverse, because uh, I builder relies on Dataverse, you just need to validate the connection as you would do in a regular Power Automate flow in the portal. So just make sure you validate all the connection. Sometimes it just requires one click. And the other thing that will happen if you don't have any licensing for AI Builder, so any new user uh, will come without licensing. So we'll see uh, this yellow message bar at the top that is going to tell you that you a trial is going to be started um, as you click on continue, AI Builder trial. Let's click on continue. And then you are really on the... Uh, creation phase of the of the of the flow you are going to provide the parameters that the flow expects to run and so as as we selected the template that allows to create to analyze the emails from a recipient and to send it to teams the information obviously that is going to to ask is the first thing is uh, which person is going to send us the email so i'm going to pick up one uh, person so it could be uh, in real life it could be your boss it could be a, a customer and then send it to Teams. So it can be you, but it can be also uh, anyone you want in Teams. Um, and then there it is. You uh, you just almost created your your uh, your flow. You just hit on create button, and then your flow will be created and uh, enabled. So it means that every time you receive an email from the person you mentioned, it's going to analyze it with AI Builder. Hmm. and send you a message into Teams. It's good to have an alert if you have an angry email coming from your boss, right? Nice, yeah. to, have, nice to have that pop up and, and alert you. Yeah, exactly, or from your customer, like you, perhaps you want to re quickly reply to a customer that is yeah. angry or, or, or ha even happy, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, possibilities of storing those over time too and just seeing how your customers yeah. are the trends. 
Yeah, totally. And so if you want to go and see um, the list of your flows, that you, the flows that you created, um, then you can see that the flow that we just created is just uh, up there. If we click on it, we have all the description of the flow, so the details. And you can even, if you feel like you can do it, you can even uh, edit the flow in advanced mode. And then you will see all the kind of complexity of the flow and possibly uh, tweak it like you would nice. do in the Power Automate portal. And for example, change any parameters that you want uh, or even add actions. So uh, possibilities are um, endless, I would say. And so you started this from a template. You had a handful of templates. If if others out there have ideas for new templates that they would like to see, can they just add them below in the comments? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, definitely. It's uh, it's even recommended. Uh, I, we are seeking for new ideas. We we plan to add new templates, but any idea coming from our customers would be uh, great. That's that's great. And if for both of these features, then if someone wants to go try them out for themselves, Antonio, I assume they just go to Teams and follow the process you did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we have a documentation as well um, that any user can look at. So um, in the Ableton documentation, that explains everything that I just uh, showed right now with all the screens and um, um, walk through step by step. And so I'll include in the description links to both what you were just showing, Antonio, and also for Paul for the uh, for the identity document AI builder so people can get started. Because I think these are both really exciting features. And thanks for taking the time to show them today. Sure. You're welcome. That's a pleasure. Yep.